Hello, uh, this is a tutorial for couple my curve and log rank test using synthetic data. First, let me just talk about the key concepts in survival analysis. First is the survival time, which is the outcome. Survival time is the duration until an event of interest occurs. For example, uh, time until death, or disease reoccurrence, or failure of a treatment. Um, and uh, the second key concept is censoring. Censoring is we did not observe the event of interest during the study period. So when the study ends, we still have not observed the event. So the only thing we know, the event will occur at some time or beyond the end of the study. But I don't, but we just don't know when. Okay? That's called a sensory. So minimal data structure for survival analysis. So if you want to do survival analysis with a data set, this data set must have at least two variables. One is the survival time t. The second is the censoring variable status. Okay? So status can be one uh, to represent censored and zero to represent uncensored. So here is a very small kind of example uh, data set. You get t uh, and you got status. You got uh, some continuous values for t and you got zero one for stats. Okay, so I will not um, really go any any deeper, you know, on these key concepts. So you should uh, uh, go to a lecture or read a book chapter to fully understand. Uh, everything related to survival time and sensory. Um, oh, another important thing is uh, all we do here uh, are under the assumption that the censoring is right censoring and it's non-informative censoring. Okay. All right. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is really show you how to uh, generate couple Meyer curve and how to perform the log rank test. Okay, so in order to do um, Kaplan-Meier analysis or log rank test, uh, what we need is uh, the package called a survival. So assume you already have installed survival um, on your computer. Um, all you need to do is um, to load the library survival. And let's set the seed. Uh, I really like to use the date uh, of the analysis. So today is October 16, 2024. So set seed. Uh, sample size 100. Uh, this is the survival time. So we're trying to draw a random sample from an exponential distribution, which is a, a popular survival time distribution. Okay, and then we simulate a status variable, which would be 0 or 1 uh, for 100 times, and replacement equal to true. Um, here, uh, we're demonstrating couple of Meyer curve for only one group. So we're going to assign group uh, as group A uh, for n times. And then we put together time status and group in one data frame. So to create a couple of Meyer curve, uh, we can do a couple of Meyer fit for the single group. So here you can see we use the function serve fit. And um, the syntax is you have to use uh, SURV 
here s is capitalized and parenthesis time comma status okay time and status must go together okay uh, and then tier the one data equal to data so this is the syntax to create a couple of mire for a single group and after that we can plot the couple of mire curve so using the plot function uh, we put in the couple of mire fit uh, here we uh, specify we want the blue color and uh, label for x-axis the time uh, label for y-axis the survival probability and the title is couple of mire survival curve for group a so on the right hand side you can see um, in the middle that's the blue color survival curve uh, the couple of mire curve um, you can see starting from 100 percent and then just keep going down until it uh, at the end it's about about 10 percent i think yeah and this uh, plot function also uh, gave us the 95 percent confidence band around the survival analysis okay all right uh the next part is i'm going to demonstrate couple of Meyer curve for two groups uh, to do that we first uh, need to create a new data set uh, now we have two groups so group is sample of a or b and time replacement as true and then we put together time status and group together and we fit um, the couple of Meyer fit using the function serve fit uh, here the only difference compared to the previous one is the tier the group previously is a tier the one okay so now you have a group um, as an independent variable so you do that um, and then you can just plot out here since we have two groups we say uh, color equal to c uh, blue and red so it, one will be a blue line the other one is a red line okay so let's plot it out uh, and you can see it's a very nice presentation of um, two survival curves in the two groups. And this type of uh, couple of Meyer curves are very informative uh, in, uh, for example, cancer clinical trials, showing the survival probabilities in the treatment versus the placebo group. All right, uh, next one, I want to show you how to do um, log rank test. So for any statistic test, you must be very clear about its purpose. The purpose of the log rank test is to compare the survival distributions of two or more groups to determine if there are statistically significant differences in their survival time. So the log rank test is for comparing survival time distributions in two or more groups. Okay. Um, and here is the syntax for implementing the log rank test. You use the function serve diff. Okay. So that tells you it's comparing the differences between the two survival distributions. Um, and uh, then the syntax is similar. So you serve time status group together, then regress down group. Okay, so and you put into the object called the log rank test, and then you print it out. Uh, you can see down there it gave you some simple statistics: um, the number of uh, subjects in each group, and you got observed, you got expected, and then you got some statistics standardized statistic this is uh, actually uh, like uh, a Pearson chi-square statistic so the log rank test uh, is essentially a Pearson um, like chi-square test okay uh, and then it gave you the chi-square statistic and on one degree of freedom and the p-value of 0 0.7 so you can interpret this as there's no statistically significant differences in the survival time distributions in group A and group B and the level of 0.05. Okay.
Uh, thank you for watching. This is a very bare-bone uh, introduction of Kaplan-Meier analysis and log rank test.